All right, so let's go ahead and talk about getting these Aladdin XT clones uh, flashed for a different bias. I don't mind the bias that comes with them, but um, for this one here, I don't want to be T-sopping consoles anymore because these are just so cheap, and this thing works wonderful for how cheap it is. Um, it's not, you know, it's not the greatest programmer, no, but does it do the job? Yes, it does. This is really just a hobby of mine, so I'm not going to go out and, you know, uh, spend an extravagant amount of money on something that I'm only going to use, you know, a couple months out of the year, a uh, handful of times. So, with these SST, these clones, you cannot flash those on the Xbox. The only option is to flash it from a computer. So, they are 256K bias, um, so I'm just going to go go back through and flash 256 over. For this one particular here, I've already got it marked. I'm going to put X Blast on this one just because I don't feel like TSOP in this next console. I'm going to do a 128 megabyte RAM upgrade on. So we're just going to load this one with X Blast and kind of keep that uh, keep that off to the side um, and use it when I need it. So first things first, this, I've, I've only been able to find this in one place. That was on eBay. It comes from Korea. It's like 35 bucks with shipping. It's not bad. It works great. Um, had to wait a little bit for it to, you know, get here, obviously, because it had to come from across the pond, but, um, you know, not a huge deal. If you don't mind waiting, definitely look into this. I'll put a link in the description. So, when we go to take this chip out, let's see if we can get this on camera. So, might be a little hard to see, but up here you got a, you got a straight 90 corner. Down here you got that little slash taken out. So, there's only one way to put this in. Um, there's no, you know, you can't really screw it up. So what I'm going to do is just take this, kind of pop the edge of this chip up, take it out, set this off to the side for now, come back up here. And if you look again, you can kind of tell, uh, which side is which, cause you got your, well, I'm not even holding that right for the camera. You got your 90 degree bend here and you got your edge cut off right there so then we just pop that trying to get it so the camera can see make sure you're not forcing it in there just kind of let it drop I'm having an issue because I'm not trying to block the camera view all right so it is in it's secured So now we can go ahead, jump over to the computer, and get to flashing this. Alright, so here's what we're looking at. Get your BIOS file. I've already got mine downloaded, extracted. Here's what we're going to end up with. Here's the installation file. You're going to go ahead and run that. Yes. Set it up. I've already got it set up, so when it comes to the driver, it's going to tell me it's already been installed. So, we're not going to run it right now. We'll go driver install. So, I've already got it installed, like I said. But after that, you should be presented with this. So, we can go ahead and just get that out of the way. So, that's what we're dealing with. Go ahead and launch it. Click on read. So, we're going to go with... Oops. We'll just go with Aladdin SST, save it to the desktop. So there's our bias in bin format. So now we have our X Blast. We're going to go ahead, we're going to erase, erase the chip, go ahead and write, And then once that's done, we can go ahead and verify. Verify it against what we've got in the folder.
that's it. Now you can go ahead, unplug it from your computer, pop that chip back in, slide that onto your Xbox, and you now have a, a new flashed BIOS. You can go back through and, and keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. I would recommend to just keep that original uh, read that we did, um, just in case you know something goes wrong or uh, whatever the case may be. But that is literally the video. There's there's nothing else to it. It's pretty easy. Um, it's not ideal compared to how it used to be done with the actual chips where you could just flash them on the Xbox, but this is a pretty cheap and quick alternative. So having said that, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. If you enjoyed the video, check my other ones out. Uh, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later.